Hey guys and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to live stream from YouTube. So we all know about Twitch. They're the big hitter in online streaming, uh, whether it be gaming or music or whatever they're doing now. We all know about Twitch, but YouTube is also getting in the game. Uh, as you can see now, it's in beta up here in the upper right-hand corner, but it was announced earlier this summer, right before summer started, that YouTube is going to try uh, and become a larger player in this space. So they're trying to improve their streaming app in the way they uh, allow you to stream via YouTube. And they're doing a really good job at it. So I'm gonna show you how to set up your live stream from the start all the way to the end. So let's look at the first things first. If we go to this right here, it says events right here under our Creator Studio. Now, if you do not know where Creator Studio is, you go up here, click on your icon in the upper right-hand corner, and then go to Creator Studio right there under your username. Once we do that, we'll see something here where it says under events, it'll say schedule a new event. If we click on that, we're going to be able to schedule a live stream event. So we can schedule it for now, right here. We can set the date, we can set the time. We can then title it right here. So you put the title of the stream right here. And then what will happen is when I go live now, or if I set it for later, whatever it is, I will create an event. Now, when I create an event, it'll show up to my subscribers. It'll be sent out to their feed and it'll let them know, okay, at this time, I'm going to be streaming this game or I'm going to be streaming this event. Okay. And it'll come through just like a video and they'll be able to be notified when you go live on YouTube. So again, go into the Creator Studio, go to live streaming, and then go underneath the Stream Now beta button, go to events, and then go ahead and set up your event. Now, I would recommend adding tags, okay? I would recommend adding a relevant title. Make sure you schedule it correctly in your time zone. And then obviously, public, private, unlisted, whatever. If it just works the same way videos do, if you want it to go to the public, do that. If you want it to be unlisted, go here. And if you want only to send out a link, then go to private. Uh, under advanced settings, you're going to see a few different things. Now under chat, you can either enable or disable chat. Now, if you're going to stream something, you're probably going to want to be interactive. So you probably don't want to disable live chat. Uh, then you can go here. You got ownership, all of that good stuff. You got the caption certification here. You can add a category, a video location. You can do all of the good stuff you can do with normal videos that you're putting on or VODs, whatever you want to call them. And then we got monetization. You can actually monetize right here, just like you would a video, you can monetize your live stream. And you can actually decide when you want to play an ad. Again, you got to be a partner with YouTube to be able to do that. And if you want to know how to do that, I'll have the link down below on how to become a YouTube partner and set up Google AdSense and run ads on your videos. Now, back to the streaming. Now, once we get the event set up, we're now going to need to set up our stream. In order to do that, under or above the events link here, you're going to see a link that says um, you're going to see a link that says stream now. You're going to see something that looks like this. Now, under this here, this is where all the magic happens. This is where you have to set up your stream so that it works later when your event goes live. Now, let's start from the beginning. The first thing I'm going to tell you is this. You can move any of these boxes around. So if you want chat to be under your video when you're live streaming, you can just click and hold and move it there. So just click on this little square in the upper right hand corner here, the little gray square, and then just move it over. So I can move any of these. I can move the, the live stream over here. Then I can actually move the chat up here. And again, you're going to have to kind of play around with it and get the UI the way you want it. Now let's go ahead and uh, put this guy back over here where he was and then put the video back up here. Now, if we go down to the bottom, we're going to see some pretty uh, important stuff. Now, right here where it says live streaming checklist, it basically tells you what you have to do. Okay. So set up your encoding software. Okay. So your encoding software is going to be like OBS or uh, what other, what, other software that you may use to live stream the Twitch or wherever you may be live streaming. So if you're using OBS or XSplit or whatever you may be using, you need to set that up. Now, if I go and open up my OBS here, you can see, you can see me here. You got my audio recorder there. So don't, don't worry about any of that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Here's my OBS. I got it set up. Now you need to know where to find your information. Um, so if we go to settings here and then go to stream and OBS, 
I can set the service to YouTube and then it'll come up with my stream key right here. I also have a video on how to find your stream key if you don't already know how to do that. Uh, but in OBS, now this is the Mac version and the Windows version is the same basically thing. You just click on stream and then you select your service, whether it be Hitbox, Twitch, YouTube, whatever, and then select the server and then get your stream key. Now, once you get your stream key, copy and paste that and then go back over to YouTube. The server URL will already be provided for you and then all you have to do is go ahead and paste the stream key uh, under the encoder setup down below. So once you've done that, your encoder is set up. Now, obviously, you got to go into OBS or XSplit and set up your scene like I have here with your webcam and your desktop and whatever your audio may be. You got to do all of that in your streaming software and make sure that's ready to go. So once you've set up your encoding software, you then want to move on to adding the information for your stream. So as you see here earlier or a couple days ago, I streamed some Hearthstone, playing some Hearthstone, uh, and I titled it, I'm sorry, Heroes of the Storm. It was Hearthstone, but it then changed to Heroes of the Storm. I put playing Heroes of the Storm, come play and hang out with the guru, okay? So I just titled my stream, and then I went right here and put a little something in the description, uh, like playing this week's new Tavern Brawl with the viewers. And again, I know that's Hearthstone. Don't give me a grief about it. I was changing games in the middle of the stream. Sorry about that. Uh, and then I gave them an option to add me on Battle.net so we could play together with the viewers. Uh, then I went down and changed the category to gaming, obviously. And then I added the game name right here. So go ahead and type the game name there. You want people to know kind of what game you're, you're doing. Now, as you're changing stuff here, you'll see this up here. It'll say changes are being saved. It'll change automatically and it'll say all changes have have been saved. Now, this button right here in the upper left hand corner that says offline, this little uh, circle thing here, that's going to let you know, yep, you are offline. In order to go live, you need to go to OBS or whatever it is and go ahead and start streaming. You can change the uh, the, the stream options right here. Uh, you can enable DVR. Now, DVR is obviously pretty simple to understand. It's going to allow you to stream and then it'll record the video or the VOD, whatever you want to call it. And then after that, you can upload it to YouTube. Uh, so you can make the archive of the video private when complete, or if you uncheck this, it'll automatically up upload to your subscribers for them to watch at a later date as a VOD. Um, so that's under the stream options. Then monetization, you can monetize it with ads. I've already shown you that. And then you can add a card just like you can. You can add associated website, fan funding. You can do all of that directly on your uh, stream app here within YouTube. Now, last thing I'm going to show you is you can add thumbnails just like you do here. So go to change thumbnail, uh, add you a nice little thumbnail like I did here. And then you obviously have chat. So under chat right here, uh, you have where you can see where people were chatting with me. We were talking about some stuff uh, related to the game or maybe not related to the game. Either way, chat's right here. You can hit the little gear icon to enable or disable chat. You can decide whether or not you want to have chat or not. I would recommend doing that. And then if you want to say something in chat, you can just type it in here and then press enter. And then it'll obviously chat uh, via text to all of your viewers that are watching. And then once you do start streaming and you do go live, you're going to see something here under analytics. Under analytics, you're going to see how many people are watching now and how many messages are coming in per minute. Now, don't get too caught up in this at first. Obviously, when you get started, there may be some things that you need to do differently to get more viewers or more messages or whatever it may be. So don't get too caught up in that. And then you can go here under stream health and it says, uh, you know, it'll let you know the health of the stream is great, excellent, or very poor. And it'll kind of give you some uh, options on what you can do to fix that. And the last thing you can do is share it on social media sites down here under the share tab. So that is how you set up a YouTube live stream. Remember, it is in beta things are going to change. I will do an updated video once it does, but as far as it goes currently in the current beta form that is it is in, this is how you live stream from YouTube. If you have any questions, I always try to get to the questions and help you out. Put those in the comment box below. Also, let me know this in the comment box. What do you like to stream when you stream? What's your favorite game that you like to stream? Just a little question I like to do at the end of each video. Let me know down below in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to slap that like button and always, always subscribe if you want more. And I will see you guys in the next one.